Alaska signature event in Minnesota. And on the red lines, we have BarkBots getting there from California. Shanghai Raiguan Team 9123C from Shanghai, China. Snacky Cakes from Ontario, Canada. And Raiguan Team 9123C from Shanghai, China. And this is the first signature event in the United States. But what's interesting is we have two teams from China in the finals, which is quite incredible to see because they're very dominant every year in at Worlds. But this year, they decided to bring that up to the earliest events, even in America, just showing off how dominant they are going to be later on in the season. We have 9123X been talking to them all tournaments, talking about them. They have such an amazing auton and they're able to really efficiently descore with this mechanism that we are going to discuss. It's kind of, it's kind of like a front to back hood, but they have a little, uh, little like piece that curves up on, on the poly and that really helps them descore when they, when they shove into the, in the goal. I think every team here at mall and around the world has just seen how effective that is at, just completely dominating these early game matches because a lot of teams tend to make the mistake of leaving the other side of the goal open or either side. And then these China teams like Raiguan can just go around and then these score all of that. So we're going to be seeing that out of this match here. I'm pretty sure we're going to see the, the blue line take the auto here due to a line cross or something of bark bots. At least that's what I'm pretty sure I heard that during the stream. But yeah. Looking at the starting position here, Red Alliance is actually in a huge, huge lead here as they have both control zones already of the long tubes. And we've kind of learned that this season, uh, once the match starts, you kind of need to stay in con control of those control zones. But this match is going to look a little bit different as every team goes to get their match lists foes first. I think this is kind of a, a bad play on... On the Red Alliance's part, I feel like this con this tube was pretty much already in their control, so I don't think they really needed to, to score more there. However, this one, you do need to fight over, right? Because they are down. This is this Atominus bo bonus, which is kind of one of the win conditions, I feel like. I feel like if you have the Atominus bonus, you need to just control one of these tubes, and you're pretty much going to win the, the, the match guaranteed if you hit a park, right? And what's interesting about the Blue Lions on this on this team is is they have a double park. Uh very, very impressive double park. If you're wondering how, uh, Snacky Cakes rides up onto a block, right? So they're not touching touching the, the ground, and they're going to be able to get a park, which is very, very incredible. But anyways, we're going to see Blue taking the bonus here, and they line up. I see this happen a lot now, right? Where you just saw that happen again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and show what exactly what happened, right? So we see 9123C and Snacky Cakes playing a great teamwork play here. 9123C pushing BarkBots away into that corner, giving Snacky Cakes the perfect opportunity to hit a big D-score, right? We don't usually suspect Snacky Cakes of being able to D-score, but in this tournament here in the finals, they actually do hit a lot of D-scores. The red goal now is completely uncontested as all four robots are over here, but this is kind of a a problem I think, I think Blue here had where they kind of over focus hyper focused on on the blue goal here but honestly that's fine because they have the bonus right like we mentioned about that win condition if you have the bonus you really only need to control one of these tubes and you sh you're you're probably fine if you also kind of fight for the the middle as well a little bit right you can see another incredible play by snacky snacky cakes they're kind of just showcasing all the functionalities of their robots you can see they just descore with their little little hooks on the robot there, the, the little wings. And they're going to score on the on the middle as well, right? And here, finally, BarkBots trying to get some more points in at the end there. They're not able to get that many. And guess what? We have a double park at the end here. With one second left, Snaggy Cakes comes up and hits a park. Very incredible teamwork out of the blue lines here with them winning the first finals match. And on to the second one. We saw how the last one panned out, right? So... How are they going to play a little bit different now? This is going to be a little rough for, for the Red Alliance, right? Because last match, their auto didn't hit. Well, actually, sorry, last match, their auto hit perfectly, but they still lost because BarkBots didn't cross line. But in this one, their autos aren't even going to hit, right? We're going to see Blue taking auto again, right? These middle points are pretty valuable with, uh, with, with Blue scoring a lot there at the start. That could be a part of the strategy as well, right? If you score a lot of the 
a lot of times the middle pipes are kind of neglected in the match right until the very end where teams realize they can't get control of the long tubes back but in this match right you can see blue the blue line scoring the early lead on that middle right so now even though we're tied on on these long tubes right we're tied on these long tubes blue is still up by a lot because blue has the blue has the auto bonus and blue also has has this this middle tube right so reddit needs to make some big plays here because blue also has the double park that they can hit later right so we're going to see how a bark bites and 9123x brings us to a to a finals three match but also here a lot of teams here in the season are playing one-on-ones because i guess we're used to playing one-on-ones last year but in this year we, we uh, this season we can't be playing one-on-ones we need to be playing teamwork right we need to be doing teamwork quick d score out of 9123x great driving by harrison and we need we need to do a lot of teamwork right we need to we need to push their opponents off right we need to be pushing people off and hitting these scores hitting scores right let's say your your opponent is like hoarding an, an area right blocking you from scoring all, all you need to do is have your teammate push them away so that you can either de-score or score right like we said but next up i wanted to mention tank snacky cakes d-score mech again they've realized in one of their eliminations matches earlier that they can stick their d-score mech into the side of the goal and this happens to be one of the best ways to defend yourself being discord. Because why? Because let, let's say your bot is here, right? You can get pushed to the left or to the right, right? Forward or backwards. But if you're here, you really can't, right? Like the only ways you can really go is forwards or back. But guess what? Like your drive train is, is here. So unless they overpower your drive, which doesn't really happen these days because everyone's running 6 minute drive, they can't move you because they can't push you into the tube, right? They can't pull you out either because that'll be entanglement. And that'll be personal. Uh, purposeful entanglement right so that's illegal so this happens to be one of the best ways to counter any d scores and and they're going to use that and they're going to be able to hold on to that pipe for as long as they stay there pretty much all right you can see that now all so in this in this situation here really all what 9123c has to do is just tie this middle right all they have to do is tie middle if they tie middle they win because if they tie middle tube right either top one or bottom one and they, they have they have these two tied, they have auto bonus, and they get one park each, they win. 100 percent right. So we're gonna see how kind of how they end up uh losing in this match because some plays that that bark bots and 9123 X makes. And I think 9123C also understands that, right? They're also doing their best to do kind of fight for that that, that middle, right? But it's kind of hard because uh, Harrison's kind of running circles on Jason right now. But we're gonna see Snacky Cakes kind of kind of come out of this this spot because they have a lot of the blah blocks right you saw you saw earlier they came over here to the corner to get match loads or blocks on the ground so they picked up a couple more so they have a quite a lot of blocks maybe six or seven blocks in their intake right now so they're going to need to use that or at least they, they're going to want to use it but i don't think they might I, I think i think it's better off to hold off and be patient right huge g score out of nine one two three c there d scoring the red alliances blocks in that middle tube so here i think 16 i think sand cakes needs to find a opportunity to score in this middle tube, right? It doesn't need to be right now. It can be in the last two seconds even. And they're gonna they're gonna find it a little bit early, right? It's fine, right? They come back perfectly, right? This is a perfect example, right? 12 seconds left. Blue should win this game, right? There's no way blue doesn't, right? Because you have blue as the the middle goal and and the, and the long goal too, right? But they're gonna kind of, they're gonna leave here, right? Because we're gonna see red just de-score this tube, right? And they're gonna leave and they're going to go for a double, double park, right? I don't think that they need to do that. All they need to do is defend the middle. But since they did this, Red took back control of the of the middle tube. And now they missed the, the puck. And now Red wins this match, right? So kind of a little bit of a throw by, by the blue lines. But still overall, really good match. Oh, on to our third match now. This one is our most intense. It's 1-1. All, right, all, the, all the marbles are all, is on the line now. Whoever wins this match gets to go to, go to Worlds. Uh, in St. Louis, no, no, no longer in Dallas, but that's okay. But also, before this match starts, though, when we're watching the auto, I wanted to mention I might be going to a signature event this year. Might be going to one of them. So, if you you can look around on the on the volunteer sign up sheets and see if you can you can find me on there. But yeah, whoever finds me on the sign up sheet uh, first, just. I don't know, DM me if you're going to the, the the tournament. I'll give you a cookie or like a signature or something. I don't know. But 
here we have pretty phenomenal autons out of both alliances too with this far too pretty much being filled by stack of cakes and pork bots this is going to be pretty close i think uh it's going to go to go to blue though i think blue is overall stronger autos uh, during this whole tournament and yeah blue will take this auto i didn't notice how 9123x is a really good starting position for for match loads and they were, they're going to utilize that right but 9123c is going to be the, the faster robot to score which is going to game them the the advantage that they need right because now both tubes are pretty much controlled by by the blue lines here right 9123c doing a good job contesting here unfortunately they kind of knocked some of their own blocks out but you can see here earlier that 9123x actually left this side to con to go contest the other side to help bark bots right i think this is a pretty pretty smart move all in all because uh that's just like you kind of do a one v a one v a two v one and one bot and you can take back your control zone a lot easier and that's exactly what happens right they're able to take back the control zone and now they kind of play they play, they play middle right because that that's exactly what happened last match right they won middle check they won other console, control zone check and then they hit park check and they can win the match right even uh based off of betting that snaggy cakes doesn't hit their park but um what's different here is they don't have a full goal because blue still has some some blocks in here right you can argue that red has some but red has so little in here but blue has a lot more blocks in this goal and red doesn't have full control of the middle yet so not perfect not a perfect replica of last match so we're gonna it's gonna be a little bit a little bit rougher for for red to be able to win this one right and as the time as the time is counting down 9123x makes another good teamwork play with bark bots you, you really need to be doing that stuff let me back up a little bit because uh we just saw them get tipped but let's back up a little bit and watch watch that play happen again so here 9123x is going to push snacky kicks away again right i think snack, the kind of the, one of the problems snacky kick made here was not playing the same defense strategy they played last time because i think they they were like they were like hey we want to be here so we can score instead of being here right because because they don't want to tie they want to they want to win this goal so, so they were here the whole time which gave bark bots and uh break one x the chance to push them away and get this this zone right they were able to push bark bots was able to push as long as uh as snacky kicks gets shoved away they were able to push and get those points and here we see a 9123x tipping 9123c <laughs> so and 9123x scores a bunch of blocks as they were tipped and then they they show good sportsmanship and untip their their sister team and here we see a pretty pretty substantial uh, red lead now our bots is pretty much never going to leave that position right they're going to hold this zone because that's their zone so instead of right being stuck here in tunnel, tunnel vision like like a lot of teams snaggy kicks grabs a lot of uh grabs a load of tribals and comes down because they realize that their their teammate and their opponents are stuck down here right and that gives them the perfect opportunity to hit a huge d score there and completely turn the tides of this match with that one play and bam and finally now uh the two break one teams gets untangled and it's already kind of over because blue has control of one tube they have control of half the other and no hangs and they have they have the Auton, and there we go. We'll see 9123C, the world champion a couple years ago, and Snacky Cakes going to Worlds.